<clears throat> it's the book of Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 22 through 23. Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying, the days are prolonged and every vision filleth? Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. Okay. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise unto and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Kakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to all younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, hope for luck out there, pushing this word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, pushing to get up out of here, Shah, one, two, hope for luck, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha. Okay, just want to do a real quick lesson, you know, on the article that was sent to me by, you know, the beloved brother, all right, out of Memphis, all right, priest or not, and um, dealing with the BRICS nations, okay, and one thing that we understand is that at the end of the day, the Lord, all right, is, you know, pretty much pushing the gas on prophecy in the earth, okay, that's why as we open up with Ezekiel, you know, the 12th chapter, all right, I'll jump to 23 and read that again. It said, Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord Power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand and the effect of every vision. So, as we keep up, you know, we watch the news and we see what's going on and what's happening in real time. All right, this is the Lord bringing the effect, all right, of all the visions, you know, that our forefathers seen. And everything that our forefathers seen, you know, has came to pass or is coming to pass or will come to pass. And right now, you know, two major prophecies, you know, that we await, okay, is the MOTB, which is the C-HIP, which is going to uh, segue into World War Three, which is going to segue into the coming of Yahweh Shai. Okay, now I want to read this article real quick, and it's from First Post. Like they sent to me by the beloved brother, you know, uh, priest or not, you know, out of Memphis. They said, BRICS received membership requests from 19 countries before annual summit. So you have 19 more countries, you know, that want to join, okay, this, the BRICS, you know, uh, 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 banking, okay? <laughs> Which the two, you know, superpowers of that, you know, is Russia and China, all right? And you also have India, India as well, which is a major market. Okay, and it says the foreign ministry ministers of BRICS nations will reportedly attend the discussion on a range of issues, including the expansion of the, the block in June as the BRICS group. All right. As the BRICS group of nations are preparing to hold a proposed annual summit in South Africa, 19 countries have expressed an interest so far in joining the block. The, the emerging market blocks of BRICS nations will meet in Cape Town on June the 2nd through the 3rd to discuss its expansions. A new so Sokol, all right, South African's ambassador to the group said in an interview on Monday, the group has only, all right, has only admitted only a single member, all right, of South Africa in 2010 since the formation all right, is the BRICS in 2006. What will be discussed is the expansion of BRICS and the modalities of how this will happen. 13 countries have formally asked to join and another six, okay, have informally. We are getting applications to join every day. Bloomberg quoted him as saying, okay. So what we're seeing was these nations pretty much flock to who? Okay, to Russia, as the prophecy said they would do. Okay, these nations are flocking all right, to God and may God because these economic alliances all right, also will align these nations militarily. Okay, and at the end of the day, the BRICS banking will not be the new okay, banking system. All right, when the, when the American dollar collapses, all currencies will collapse which will bring in, all right, the need for what a digital currency, which they're already prepping for, okay? 
So this is just another step or another phase closer, okay, to a prophecy being fulfilled. You see? And we, we just watch these things unfold. So as these nations, you know, jump onto this BRICS banking, which is going to, you know, crash the dollar eventually, okay? This, which is going to crash all currencies, which is going to bring about the MOTB and the digital currency, okay, that these nations all right, are, are all in cahoots <laughs> with the elites with, man. So we're finna see this thing play out in a major way. You know, we, we just see, you know, the, the earth going a step closer, all right, towards these major prophecies, man. You know, so that's the point, you know, Shalom.